Hey guys, welcome back to another video in my repurposing sprue series. I think this is video 9, technically it's 10th video because like 8 had two parts. Um, but um, I've actually just made myself a little dwarf blister, so anybody who's watching the channel recently, recently or follow my Twitter, I just got back into the middle of the strategy battle game this year. Um, I used to play it about 8, 10 years ago, like you know, I was like sort of the last time I probably collected. I've played like the other one or two battles in between, um, and then I've just you know got back into it, been collecting things. I've started a fellowship army. I've added a Balin to my to my dwarf army, which is my other good army. I was mostly an evil player, still am really. I've just expanded my Isengard army again. Um, so I think really as far as evil armies go, I'm I'm done. Maybe a few heroes, but otherwise I just. I've got enough models to play enough games. Um, but anyway, this is for my dwarves. And if you've also been following me on Twitter, um, you'll have seen that I recently played against my mates, uh, Mumuk. And they are tough, tough to beat. Um, apparently, dwarves are actually quite good against Mumuks because they're so tough and they're so difficult to kill. Um, but even then, I basically had to sacrifice a Balin to do that. So I was thinking, what's the best way to fight something like that? Well, to not fight it, I suppose, and shoot it instead. Um, unfortunately, bows aren't really that effective in... Lord of the Rings, especially not against like sort of defense eight, seven, seven or eight things like Mummocks. Um, I mean, most armies, the strongest bows they have is three if you're lucky. Like the dwarves can have strength three bows, but a lot of armies, like most men, stuff are just strength two, which is not that effective, especially with the way the wounding works in Middle Earth. But I'm not here to debate rules right now. Um, so I'm talking about my ballista, and this is like this. This will damage things like the Mummock, and it's got a good range. So this is this is how I'm gonna win. I think I think this is what I need, and it's only sixty points for two uh, for that and two crew. It's not so uh, expensive. Obviously, right now I don't have any crew because I've just mocked this up out of sprue. So I'm just gonna use dwarf warriors for now. Um, at some point, I will buy some more dwarf warriors, and I will make some crew. I might build a couple of other ballistas, and then I, you know, I can make a load of crew. I'm thinking about converting some dwarf warriors into the castle guard, and maybe some iron, is iron guard as well. Um, just mainly because I enjoy converting, and like I do like the metal mounters, but I don't want loads. I'm quite happy with them. The characters being metal, but I don't really want to go much beyond that. Um, but anyway, let's actually start talking about this ballista. I've rammed on far too much. So, as you can see. Um, pretty much all of it is just sprue, with the exception of the brass wiring for the coiled ropes and the bow limbs, which is plastic art. And then obviously there's a paper clip at the back for the levers. Um, now most of it is just the normal standard grey um, sprues that you'll get from any model. And you might have noticed at the front, the red stuff, that's from the Spaceman Hero sprues, which are a bit rounder. And that is purely aesthetic, that's purely because that's, that's what I liked. If you're doing this, you could just use the normal square of sprues as much as you like. It really doesn't make any difference. Um, but yeah, like, if you follow some of the other stuff I've done with sprues, I've taken a lot more care with this. You know, I've probably sanded them down a bit more. Um, you know, when I was making palisades and stuff, I didn't really care too much. It was actually, it worked quite well for things like palisades to sort of be a bit rough and ready because then I could say, sort of be like, oh, well, it's just kind of thrown together and explained why, you know, did things different heights. It just made things faster. This, obviously, I was taking my time. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's not really much to it. Just sort of measure what you want, sand it down, stick it together. Mostly using plastic glue, obviously, the bow limbs, the plastic card, they've used, I've used super glue for those instead. Um, now, with the brass wire, that is just the stuff that you buy to hang picture frames with. So you'll get that from all sorts of places, all sorts of shops. Um, so I've uncalled, so I've unwound that, and then I've placed the plastic around the plastic card. I've just wound it and wound it and wound it until it holds it in place. Um, now one option could also be to sort of cut into the plastic card a bit, um, to so that it holds better, but it doesn't make that much difference. Uh, another thing is you want to make sure when you're doing that that you leave yourself a lot of wire spare, so that you can cut it down. Now one thing I could have done actually, which I didn't do, is I could have actually drilled holes into the sprue and thread the wire through, things like that, that would have made it more stable, um, but it would also taken longer. <laughs> um, but maybe if I make another one I will do that. Um, yeah, I think 
in the future I would just take a bit longer. I just, uh, I think the thing is because I'm just using sandpaper, like just holding sandpaper on the ground. I'd, I'd like to get like, um, I'm not quite sure what they're called, but you know, like the small drills that you can sort of sand things with, something like that, um, just to make it a bit faster. But yeah, so that's me making more things out of sprue. Um, and I've got plenty of sprue, so I've got plenty plenty more videos to make, and I'm sure I'll buy more Warhammer in the future, and some of that will come in sprues as well. Um, so keep watching, um, you know, click, like, subscribe, share this about. If you've got friends that, you know, maybe they're collecting dwarfs, and they're like, oh, I can't find blisters, or I don't want to spend the money on it, you can be like, oh, well, you can make it now for... And it's only taken about an hour as well, it's, so it's not like I've spent a whole afternoon on it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.